kid said, okay, this shot's gonna be right here and the griever's gonna come in and all this stuff's gonna happen. I mean, he just has- I like vision. sound effects. Yes, he does <laughs> like sound effects. And uh, I just, I knew from the, that first day that this film was in good hands, so I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So there are some changes um, from the book and the film adaptation, and especially the romance between Thomas and Teresa. Can you guys talk a little bit about that and those decisions? Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, making a, a movie is very different than, than what you can accomplish in a book, and really it comes down to visual, you know, um, it's it, anything that we changed, it was about uh, something that I just felt you couldn't do visually, but we still were always trying to keep, uh, you know, keep the, the, the spirit of what James was, was after. Um, in terms of the romance, honestly, even in the book, there's not much romance, so you're kind of hinting at something that hopefully will play up. Do I look like the kind of guy who likes one. romance? <laughs> Totally. You have a really lovely totally. family. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting, you know, like my, my job here is really to kind of, you know, uh, hope, make a hopeful franchise, essentially. So it's, it, there's three books in this series, and, and, and if I have my way, it's very much that. It's just three, it's not four. Um, beginning, middle, end. Um, we're right here, guys. I'm very close to that. Uh, but uh, you know, for what's, every screening. what's great about this first one is it's a setup for you know a larger saga, a larger story, and we're working on the next one now, and we get to just continue to explore these characters and 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 look into some of the, some of the questions that are still lingering, and um, and just you know play in this world that James created. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm a, I mean, I'm a movie fan before book fan. I know that's kind of blasphemous to my readers, but I love movies. And I, I feel like I have a very strong understanding of translating a book into a cinematic experience. I love what Peter Jackson says about it and some of my other favorite directors. You just, whenever someone tries to literally translate a book onto the big screen, it's actually really boring. It's like watching a checklist. Oh yeah, that happens, that happens, that happens. So I was thrilled. I wanted this movie to be a way for people to experience the story in a new way all over again for the first time, but be very true to the spirit of the book and the characters, and I just think they nailed it. So James, on that note, um, now that you've seen the story on the big screen several times, uh, is there any scene or moment in the book that the film made you view differently when you saw it on the screen? Well. The Grievers, I mean, I'll just say it, they're way better in the movie than they are in the book. <laughs> you know, most people say, oh, the book is so much better than the movie. This will be the first time people are like, oh, that movie is so much better than the book. Um, but no, the Grievers, I just feel like they are bigger and scarier and just better than, than I described them in the book, and I'm perfectly happy with that. But, you know, and talking about the Grievers, like, I, I, it was a challenge, you know, trying to come up with a visual for those things, but I took all your keywords, biomechanical, slug, your metal appendages, you know, spines, all those kinds of things. So, it's in there. It's just a, oh, yeah. a, a, a uh, interpretation. It's definitely not a complaint. I would not change a thing. <clears throat> They're better than the book. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> So we noticed that you guys were shooting on location in Baton Rouge. Um, can you talk about just some of the thoughts about shooting in studio versus on location and know what you thought about that? Yeah, I mean, as kind of, I have a little bit of a background in VFX and, and the, the, the biggest thing is you just don't want to do blue screen shots. You know, you want to be out in a real environment with real actors and, and, and real sun and real heat and and the, 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 the pressure of the sun dropping down, you know, losing your hours in the day, and, and that adrenaline kind of winds up, you know, in the scenes, you know, and so it was really important to, for us to create a real glade, and we really did that, it took us a long time to find that location. Uh, we scouted a million, I mean, maybe not a million, but uh, uh, probably dozens and dozens of, of cow pastures, essentially. We, we were about to pick one cow pasture, and we got kicked out because they, they had to move 